Victims of the mass drug poisoning scandal in Panama have waited 12 years for answers. Last February, we met with the president, and he instructed various ministers to seek solutions such as medical care, drug purchases, and evaluations. In May, we were told that all issues had been looked at, and all the victims will receive compensation. To date, we have no answers. In October of 2006, the Panamanian Social Security Fund delivered 15,000 doses of a cold medicine which contained a toxic substance called diethylene glycol, an industrial solvent used in antifreeze. The drug was made by a Chinese chemical company which did not have a license to sell drug ingredients. As a result, around 700 people in seven countries died. More than half came from Panama. They don't want to resolve this. We are dying in the streets, little by little, we are dying. Every day one dies. When we hear three people died, the truth is five or six actually died, and they have gone unnoticed. The number of people affected by the drug poisoning is believed to be in the thousands, but protest groups say the government only recognized 1,200 people. They're also up in arms over the punishment. Five of the 11 accused were found guilty. One was sentenced to five years in jail, the rest just one year. They were not animals. There are still many people suffering because of this. It's too much. There must be justice in this country. How is it a person who steals a cell phone gets five years in jail and they only get one year? My mom died from this. The scandal has caused Panamanians to mistrust the public health system, even if more than 70% of the population depend on it.